I forgot to change the title, which is kind of important when you're doing this uh, kind of ahead of release type thing. And this will be interesting, so hopefully I can actually keep track of both of the chat rooms a little bit easier this time. Let's see who's here. Lord Megatron has arrived. Master Far, hello, welcome. Welcome to both of you. There's a horrible glare on my screen right now. Hang on. No, that made it worse. Okay, I'll deal with this. Let's see, hello, Kyoryu. Hello, Lady of Shadows. My day was okay. It's been a little bit of a touchy day, but, you know, the day itself was good. Hello, Izzy. Hello, Mecca. Hello, Ben. First stream on a new phone. Thanks for breaking it in here. Hello, Digital. Rusted Nick, hello, Suki, hi, Dragon Ranger, hi, Quabble, hello, okay, Noah, hello, 253, reporting in, good, Common Knight, yep, thank you for making it. You hate time zones. Yeah, I didn't want to do this one super late. I wanted to actually... Because I know there's a lot of people that have trouble doing it, like, super early. So, uh, hopefully this is a little bit better for some of you. So hang on. Where is my... Okay, there we go. Okay. Sorry, my little thing was messed up. I couldn't I couldn't see the thing where I was... It tells me how long I've been online. Hello, Pies. Ben just completed Shield. Just the, the base game, or did you do the DLC too? Hello, KR Maniac. Welcome to the beginning of the stream for once. Uh, how's the local Floridian weather? Um, it's been really windy here lately. It's not terribly bad. It is starting to get hot and humid, though. Hello, Gara. Hello, Fire Convoy. Man, a whole bunch of people so far. You wonder if the same card from last week is still upside down. Um, right now, all the cards are uh, double. <laughs> just because that's the one I have the most of, so I can sacrifice it. I need to just tape them together and just make one like long, consistent prop. That I can just, like, boom, put down so they're not, like, shuffling around and all that. You were watching TJ Abletop when you got the stream notifications. I need to put the rest out. I really I really want to get more of those out. Because I've got new stories. Hello, AF Network. Hello, Negro from Mexico. Hello, Scormac. Your mom started listening to the TFW podcast. She talked about you and everyone else a lot. It's very surreal to hear from, from my mom. Uh, Quabble, that's, that's that's kind of weird. I've never heard of someone's parents getting into our Transformer podcast, but hey, if she's enjoying it, you know, good on her. Oh, hi, Mark. Hello, Danny. Like say, so honestly, St. Patrick's Day is a touchy day here because it would have been my grandmother's birthday today, so it's kind of somber. It's kind of somber right now. It's, which is one of the reasons I'm doing this today, because this is a nice, uh, this is a nice breath of fresh air. And my dog is furious at something outside. 
Jeez. Uh, you know some Poketubers you use Playmats to show off what they are opening. Um, that's what the that's what the table cam is using. Like I've got the uh, I've got an ultra I've got an Ultra Beast Playmat. I actually have two of them. So I want I kind of wanted to put one on the on here. I wanted to put one here too, but unfortunately that didn't work. Oh my God, Yaman! Hello. Grenade launcher or minigun? No, oh, you tear through. No, I need the, I need the precision of a minigun. I don't, I don't trust the delay on a grand. I, I'm not sure. Uh, I never trust the delay on a grenade launcher. No, the poor pupper isn't scared. The no, she barks at literally everything. In the middle of a marathon leading to the Snyder Cut. I wish I was more into DC movies so I could actually be like, because I know a lot of people who are excited about it. I uh, started a new D&D campaign with buddies. We realized among the three of us, we're all sort of idiots with the highest intelligence being a 16, mine is a 13. Gar, that's not bad. Like, that's not an idiot. Like in uh, like in sixteen is above average intelligence for a D D player. I've got uh my my ranger is like a fourteen. My my barbarian is an eight. <laughs> my barbarian is legitimately an idiot. He has a negative modifier to his intelligence. He is stupid. Uh, have I gotten any of the Zenkaiger toys yet? No, because I wanted to see how the toy. Sh I, I wanted to see how the show was going to go before I like went in on pre-orders or anything. I wanted to make sure it was something I would enjoy. Now, from the looks of it, yeah, like the Gatlinger looks like a cool toy, and the gears are a nice little collectible. Um, they're sold out everywhere right now. But when they come back in, I think I want to get them. I did get the Mecha. I got the two. I got the like, technically the four pack that's coming out in April. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Those look like they're going to be solid toys. Is Optimus Primal still a Prime? Technically not, because the definition of a Prime is different in G1 than it is everywhere else. Uh, Optimus Primal wasn't really a leader of his people until Beast Machines, when his people consisted of, like, five Maximals. That's basically how that went, that, how that worked out. Uh, before then, he was just the commander of that mission. There was a high council for Maximals, so they didn't really have Primes. You know, and what a Prime was kind of changed as the years went on. It's more mythical now. see it is symmetrical docking <laughs> watching batman v superman theatrical last night and started drinking halfway through i mean i mean it's usually the martha part where people start drinking heavily thighs so i don't know you got ahead of it let's put it let's think of it that way You love how the Zenkai Mecha kind of rip off the Ryu brothers from Gal Gaigar. I mean, those weren't the first ones to do what we call symmetrical docking. They weren't the last either. Um, it's just another way of combining. It's neat, though. It's neat that Sentai is doing it. Any thoughts on the new Galvatron? Yeah, someone asked if I saw the new Galvatron. I did. Uh, the base figure looks great. It looks spot on like Galvatron. I wish it didn't have like like weird battle damage on the chest. Everyone hated that in Siege, and I don't think there's a reason for it to be on Galvatron, who should be like shiny and smooth. I'm waiting to see the cannon mode, because that's all. Because it's a fantastic looking robot, but if they if they blew it on the cannon, that's going to be a disappointment. Because everything else is just so nice about it. Like I want I want the cannon mode to be really good. Sixth Ranger Mecha for Zenkaiger is supposedly a crocodile battleship. That'll be interesting. 
I mean, they've already got a, they've already got an animal. Here, let me, let me look at something real quick. Uh... There we go. All right. So I'm using an app to keep track of both chats at the same time, and it doesn't always give me uh, certain options, so I have to kind of shuffle around a little bit. Hello, BB. Did I hear Linkar reviewed a couple episodes of Gaugai Gar? Uh, I think I did. I didn't actually look at it. I know he's working on a uh, retrospective of... Uh, G1 Transformers comic. I'm actually curious about that. Crocodio. <laughs> oh, that pun. Oh, that pun. The lady who does the voice of the uh, the Geardlinger is the wrestling is a wrestler wrestling announcer in Japan who's originally from the U.S. Really? Um, dude, I'm I'm not gonna even try to pronounce your name. I'm going to butcher it. Limanoli Moncello. I gave him my best shot, but thank you. Thank you. I'm holding up okay. Lightning Collection Zero Ranger Five. Haven't that? Haven't seen that one around here. I think. Len Hart. Hmm. Interesting. I have, to look, I have to look that up, because every now and then there's someone who comes up in uh, Tokusatsu who is, like, like they, they, you know, actually, actually from, you know, like, actually from, like, native, actually speak na English natively. So, like, if I ever, ever had, like, maybe I want to do an interview, you know? If I ever had a thought like that, like, that's when that would come up. There was an attempt. <laughs> I tried... I try. Look, look, dude. You're gonna if you're gonna put a name like that into YouTube, you know people are gonna get it wrong. <laughs> Ben's getting his wisdom teeth out on April twentieth. Okay, good good day to be numbed. Uh, working on packing up your figures for a move. You're wondering if you had any tips for packing up Transformers. Um, safely doing it for Transformers is a little bit tough. Um, my suggestion to you... Um, well, for one, put them in alt mode. Put them, put them in whatever configuration has the, most, has the least amount of things sticking out. So, like, if they turn into a car, that's easy. Uh, if they turn into a jet... Uh, see if the tail fins can fold down or the wings can fold out. However, you can make them into like the the most compact little bundle. And then um, I would suggest uh, if your town has like a free newspaper, you can just run and grab whole stacks of. Just use that to wrap them up. That way you got a little bit of cushion around all of them. It's not going to cost you a lot of money. Let's see. Axelon crashed into a gorge. You think the Axelon remains are still in the volcano during G1? Probably. That's That was a little bit of a loophole. They supposedly cleaned it up. Don't leave evidence, etc. Hello, Doc Knock. I'm doing okay. Have we been looking at the Digimon TCG at all? Waspinators. Um, yeah. Um, it's It's hard to do that. It's black and gold Gengayo for 110 off of Monterake. Wow. Uh, best deal you ever got off Monterake. I can't remember offhand. I think I got the... Uh, oh, I can't remember what the name of the sword is. Um, the, 
like the like the the, the like the Shogun Megazord sword from um, Kaku Ranger. They made a role play toy of it because the Red Ranger used it from time to time. So I got that for like I don't know like twenty five bucks, which was like a really old Sentai toy, uh, and still in box and everything. Just beautiful piece that never came to America. Have I seen Zen Kaiser yet? Yes, I am enjoying it so far. I'm actually looking forward to it. Parody Beast Wars video when they put Optimus Prime Spark back in the agenda part three and you end up waking up. No, I have not. I don't really watch uh, like fan made stuff or parody stuff. So I never really get into any of that. Doc, I'm right there with you. Uh, this has not been a kind year for me. Okay, someone asked if I was getting into the, the Digimon card game and that's a good thing. That's a good thing to bring up. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show this off before we get started. I do have a starter deck now. I do have a starter deck, and let's see if I can get this uh, on there. It is the TK starter deck. So my my favorite of the cast got the start got one of the first three starter decks, which is awesome. It is, it is actually, like, let's see if we can actually see here on the side. If I can get this thing to focus. There we go. So there's the card list. And you notice Gatamon, Anjawamon. This is a TK and Kari deck. The only difference is the only tamer card in it is TK. So if I get a Kari tamer to add to this deck, it's a TK and Kari deck, which is kind of awesome and kind of perfect for me. So I got that. I haven't looked into the rules or anything of how to play. But... Like, like, it looks fun. You know, there's Tokomon. Uh, I do have to look into how it all works and all that. And then, uh, the nice thing about the starter decks for the Digimon card game is that they actually come with a booster pack. So, I actually did have a Digimon card game booster, the one booster I've been able to get. I have not found a store around here that actually carries the booster packs. They are so hard to come by. I guess because they didn't expect such a rush when they first produced it. But yeah, this is like a huge deal right now and it's really hard to get. So they, the, the guys at the gaming store wanted me to open it and see what I got. So I already know what's in the pack or else I would have done this as like the starter. I would have done this as like a warm up act. So we got... We got a new, we got a Numamon, we got a Horn Buster effect card, or an option card in this game, Sukaimon, which is like the viral version of Patamon. I think it's brilliant that I got that in the the TK deck. Can't say long since you work. Wanted to pop in and say hi. Looking forward to the next WTF and TFW to keep you occupied during my shift. May the shred gods be kind to you. Thank you, thank you, Matteo. Yeah, the Digimon card game is just brand new. Tate's doesn't carry the Digimon TCG. I can't get to uh, G Bakes. I can't get to Tate's very often. It's it's a two hour drive. P Bandai selling booster boxes for pre order. I might have to look into that. But I'll show you the other ones. We got a Paugumon, which is where you start off in the in the deck. Muchomon, who I've actually didn't hear of before. There's another Atomic Ray option card. Impmon, which is a cool one to have. I like Impmon. There's High Andromon. We have Wergarurumon. So, right back to the original show. Petermon, who I also had never heard of before. Tyrannomon as a rare, which is supposedly a pretty good one. I kind of like how they're doing the rare in this one. The, the trim of the border is foil, which is also, like, super cool. And now... Piedmon. This is a $26 card. It's an ultra rare. Or a, or a secret rare. <laughs> On my first pack, I get one of my favorite villains from the Digimon card game. Or from the Digimon anime series. He's the Kefka of Digimon. I love it. So that was my, like... So that was my get. It's like, ooh. Like the people in the game store went, oh... Look, look at the luck on them. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I paid 13 bucks to get the deck and I got a $26 card out of it. I'd call that a win for the day. You're an Edamon guy. I've met the voice actor for Edamon. Very cool guy. And yeah, Edamon's fun. Fourth set is Omnimon focused several Omnimon cards. Ooh. Uh Waspinators, no, I am not familiar with that channel. I will have I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna look up a video of how to play the game just so I know how to play, just so I can like answer it, just so I can talk about the game. Because we got a lot of people at the store that are asking us Are you getting it in or what? And I have nothing to tell them. So hopefully I have something to tell them next time. All right. Uh, hello, Night Shadow. No, you have not missed anything major. We have not opened up any packs, but we're going to change that here in just a minute. We've been going for about 20 minutes now for the little pre-show. I think we've got enough people in here. How about we start opening up packs? And we're not going to go right into battle styles. I do have a little bit of a warm-up uh, to go through first. So... I, did, I was fortunate enough that I got my hands on what you see here ahead of the launch. Battle Styles comes out officially on Friday. So, fortunately, uh, I have my hookups. So, we're going to start in with that. But, uh, we, do, we do have a few packs. That, we do have a few strays to look for, to warm us up and just make sure everyone is on board and everything is ready. So... First pack will the first pack will be a standard sword and shield. I've got a standard vivid voltage. I got a standard sun and moon, and then we have forty nine battle styles, which I think is pretty good for a first time opening battle styles. If I got the new air razor, no, I have not. I uh, for wave two, I found this boy, and if I'm gonna find any wave two, it, I'm thankful it's this one. I do have Inferno on the way, and then the Deluxes, I'm kind of out of luck. I went to a Walmart yesterday that had RC and none of the rest, which was so irritating. Yeah, so I got to figure out, like, like when I'm in the mood to talk about toys again, that Dinobot's first on the list. Of course it is. Um, Scormac, it's a G1 Inferno. We still don't know when they're actually going to be doing uh, a Beast Wars Inferno, if they are going to do one at all. Just to clarify. All right. Pack number one gives us the Rotom Bike and the Big Charm <laughs> and a Sea King and a Sizzlipede. I still think Sizzlipede just looks like living bacon. It's just what I see. The Galarian Zigzagoon. Muna, which I don't think I've gotten before. It's that knitted style. It's always interesting. Snom. I we got a bunch of snoms last stream. This is a completely different one. Grookey. Reverse hollow score rupee. Wow. Okay. Um, full art Stojourner on my first pack. I'll take that. Okay. Starting off strong. Kaka Ranger Sword is the Flaming Shogun Sword, or uh, Kayan Shogun Ken, whichever is listed under. It is, it is cool. It was my, it was like, I loved playing with that sword just as it was, like just like just holding it in my hand as a little kid. So just to have it as like a full size role play toy is awesome. All right, I don't have space, I don't have table space to show off the rare ones today, so we'll just keep those aside until the finale. Or if we get something big, I'll find space for it. Pensacon in May brought you and your friend a VIP pass. Oh, I, I hope you have fun. Please stay safe, Nicholas. Uh, hopefully, in hopefully things are a little bit calmer in May and a little bit safer. Uh, does Earthrise Megatron meet the requirements to be on Plastic Attic? Not in the least. I mean, that toy has its issues, but it's still a decent toy. Yeah, it still makes for a decent action figure. The worst War for Cybertron figure based on design, playability, and stability. Um, I'm not even sure. I mean, the worst ones, I think, so far are just by disappointment. I think most of them have been really good toys. You know, outside of, like, 
tiny things like weapon, like battle masters and the like. Um, I think that I think just like Ratchet was a huge disappointment. The Earth mode Ratchet was a disappointment. Um, I don't, I, I can't really call anything bad, really. Hello, Michael. Welcome. I dig the Mega Man avatar. First print boxes for the Digimon card game are real expensive. Yeah, like the the rush is unprecedented. Like that's just insanity. <laughs> um, Fies, um, I've only pulled one big Charizard, and that was on my first box. Um, I don't think I have any packs today that have a Charizard, so we're just pulling for interesting stuff now. Yes, yeah, spoiler box three for the Netflix series is disappointing. I think there's clever things about it, but yeah, it's uh, meh. Big Masalata. Steeny. Bally Whirl. Getting a better focus here. Crab Brawler. Growlithe. Surskit. Fomantis, who I really like. Moralul. Reverse Hollow Spinda. Hey, we got a Butterfree with a lot of little Butterfrees in it. That's a nice art. I like the art on that one. Jobby has K. TJ has McNeil. I mean, we all have we all have our uh, we all have our connections, right? <laughs> all right. MP08 Megatron for 32 pounds. Wow. That's pretty solid. Would Revenge of the Fallen Skids and Mudflat count as a punch counter punch gimmick? No. Um, if anything, they're closer to duo cons. Except instead of two vehicles and one robot, it's one vehicle and two robots. Alright, what do you think? I mean, K, you're not you're actually not wrong. Like the thing the thing that we have get get K on the phone for Kingdom Primal. I wish I had Gary Ch I wish I had Gary Chalk. I wish I had that access. <laughs> if you were a space knight, what color would your royalty free blade be? Pro well, this is the thing. When it comes to uh, luminescent blades, uh, typically I would take green, but that's so done. Like, I, I kind of wanted gold, and then someone else took gold recently. Least bad plastic addict victim in your mind, probably the Universe 2 Silver Bolt. Or the Universe 1 Silver Bolt. Because it was just, the only thing that was really bad about it was it was a repaint. It, the, the paint job was just terrible. Uh, what have you missed? Ray guns, not a whole lot. We've only opened a couple packs. We haven't done anything with uh, battle styles yet, so we're still wor we're working our way up to it. Galantula, Swello, League Staff, Galarian Meowth, Chimcho, Blitzel, Slugma, Beldum, Reverse Hollow Chimcho, Magirna. I really like Magirna. Like I, I like I think like I like I like the design. I like like uh, mechanical Pokemon like that. All right, all right. So three packs, and we've already got one Hollow and one one Hollow rare, one uh, full art rare. All right, battle styles time. Mm mm mm. So, like I said, we got 49 of these. <laughs> I wanted to really, really like heavy focus on these and see what it is. So, the big pulls out of this are uh, Empoleon's a big deal in this pack. Uh, the various Urshifus have alternate art that's really cool. The biggest pull, I think, is alternate art Tyranitar. I don't have values on any of these because technically this series isn't out yet. So there is no, like, oh, well, this is a $40 card. This is an $80 card. We're not going to get to do that this time. I just kind of want to enjoy the new Pokemon card experience. All 
You have both the original Beast Wars Silver Bolt and the Universe 1 Silver Bolt. Belong to your late grandmother. Go, Grandma. Oh, those are awesome ones for her to hold on to. Uh, Cryotech repaint a transmetal to Megatron from a, from a third party company. Thoughts? It's it's a third party repaint. Uh, yay! I'm I I've gotten I've gotten softer on third party, but I'm still not a huge fan. I still don't follow them all that well. Hello, Fang Specter. How's the series is out? You already have new cards because I have friends who work at gaming stores, and I work at a gaming store. So these things happen. Also, one of the gaming stores in town broke the street dates, so I actually got. Uh, so that's that's how that works. Do they usually release them in Japan first, and then over here for the card games? Yes. Um, they rearrange it sometimes. The U.S. prints more series than Japan does, so in the U.S. you'll see more reprints, more alternate arts with the same attacks and stats, etc., etc. Like. Um, like here, we got Shining Fates. In Japan, they got Shiny Star V. And the two sets have mostly the same cards, but there were a bunch of extras added in to Shining Fates reprints. And there is some of the hollows and shinies that weren't included in the set. So it's a, it's, it's not a A to A, B, to, it's not an A to A, B to B comparison. They, it's, it's a little bit mixed up. But yeah, for the most part, yes, the cards come out in Japan first in one way or another. All right. So battle style still using the standard short sword and shield style uh, energy card. No update there. Phoebe, I'm sure her card, I'm, her full art or her rainbow is going to be huge. I'm sure it is. Inbox alternator Optimus Prime from relative that had a Hudson B truck. Nice. That is a harder one to find these days. Well, by getting the trans art ravage, you're asking me third party stuff again, dude. I can't give you an answer on that. Look how proud the honchcrow is. He is he is just presenting. Bruxish, another another one of those Pokemon I easily forget about because yeah, it's colorful but it's kind of unremarkable. Mankey. And here's where we get into like the new styles. Like single strike and rapid strike is a thing in this series, and I honestly don't know why. I have to look it up to see what the difference is. Galarian Slowpoke with the yellow head and tail. Uh, let's see. Oh, I thought a card got stuck. Nope. 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 It did not. Hey, another Fomantis. Very nice art style. Very coloring book. Remoraid. <laughs> Bal That's pretty precise. Look at the octillery in the background doing the same thing. Just balancing sticks and rocks. Cubone. Aww. More Cubones to make me sad, but it's very pretty art. Reverse hollow ball toy. And Phalanx is here. Rapid Strike Squad. Aaron Archer was going to localize Web Diver. They had the electronics, but could never work the electronics right. I'm kind of surprised. Like, at that point, I thought they just kind of gut the electronics. I'm not sure why if, like, why couldn't Hasbro get the electronics right if Takara did? I'm not sure how that works. Yeah, I love Phalanx. Why is Cubone so cute? Because he is. Cubone's adorable. And Cubone's, like... The one you feel bad for, because, yeah, tragic backstory is built into every Cubone. Every Cubone you catch comes with a tragic backstory. Did I know Stanley wanted to Americanize Sun Vulcan? Yes, I do. Because that was back when Toei and Marvel were working together. Because they had just gotten off of Battle Fever J that Marvel helped with. Phalanx sounds like a Transformer name. Eh. I think it works for a Pokemon. Camping gear. Honchcrow again. Heatmore. Spoink. One of the darker Pokedex entries. Roly Coly. Jeez. Seems like seems like a lot of series I open up have some form of like Roly Coly, Torkoal, and all that. 
Frillish. Esper. Blipbug. Don't see him often. Lorantis. That is awesome art on that Lorantis. I love that like rainbow effect on that one slash. And Claydol. Phalanx sounds like Skylinks. Well, I mean, the, the Lynx part is intentional because it's all the Pokemon linked together. It is a tech, it is a term based on, uh, like it is a term based on Phalanx. Major tech issues and hard, and hard to market him being a massive ass train. That, that, that actually makes, that actually makes sense. Game itself had some issues with translation or just general bugginess. Maybe MSRB. I'm not sure. It might just be that the the it might just be that the toy just didn't work with the electronics, or like if they tried to gut the electronics for the U.S. toy market. That uh, I don't know. The the toy might have like needed the electronics to be uh, stable. I don't know. Um, Ray, I have all of TJTV backed up. I I didn't like post and delete episodes. Um uh, most of them are still online on like Daily Motion and Vimeo, but there's a few episodes like the WTF Common Rider moments that I can't keep online just cuz they keep taking it down. So there's a few that are lost to time. But if if someday there is a website uh, like a a host that will actually respect fair use laws, then maybe we'll see a return. But for now, yeah, mo- some of them are just going to be lost. Scroll of Swirls, Buffalant, super intense art, Crawdont, Tepig. I like I like this idea that the pre-evolved forms are training with the evolved forms. I think that's actually a really cool like theme to the artwork and the cards that I'm noticing here. Hone Edge, oh, just. Like a sacred sword left out in the in the woods. I love the look of that, and the two and the ruins in the background too. Like I'm getting a little that gives me a little bit of uh, Breath of the Wild vibes. Yeah, same with the Movie War 2010 crossover. That one's gone too. Electabuzz. Very anime pro tag. Normal ball toy. Gligar. Sword, Swordward and Shieldbert. Hated them. <laughs> Rainbow Chased. Tapu Coco VMAX. Rainbow Secret Rare. In, in the top loader you go. We haven't even gotten into the booster box yet, and I've already pulled a Rainbow Rare. Why is Hotshot my mascot for Plastic Attic? Because that was the that was the one that inspired me to start Plastic Attic. Because I hated that toy so much, and it was a major character with a terrible toy. Came back just in time to taste the rainbow. We have our first rainbow of battle styles. I still haven't even cracked into the big stuff yet. This is just like the scraps that I picked up. Like, three of these were from the game, like, three of these were from, or two of them were, uh, were from a lunchbox tin that I got. Do I still have the TJ Omega and Shades Gaia memory? Uh, Shades has that Gaia memory. That was his gift after we shot that. I still have the TJ Omega memory somewhere. What I want to do is find one of those people that can like do custom electronics for that kind of thing, and I like I want to actually like program like TJ Omega into it. That would be super cool and probably super expensive. Energy recycler, girder, cacturn. It's interesting art design. That silicobra, bell sprout. I haven't seen bell sprout in a while. Onyx. It's kind of neat to kind of neat to see Onyx curled up like an actual snake. I don't think I've ever seen that. He's always just kind of stretched out and lunging. 
Spiro. Oh, we're getting to like original, like OG Pokemon in the middle of this pack. Sizzlipede as one of like the toy artwork. Those two again. And then Salazzle. A TJ Decade card. See, that's easier. Printing a card's easier. Um, our Star Starscream got isekai into Konosuba. I don't know Konosuba. I know what an isekai is, but I don't know Konosuba. Very seductive Salazzle. For whatever reason, they kind of like draw Salazzle a little bit sexy and it's creepy. I don't know why they do it. Like they make sure Salazzle has a lot of like very, a lot of curves and a lot of hip to her. I've actually thought about marketing, like, I've actually thought about marketing little TJ Omega things that, like, like, like things that I could make out of resin, things like, you know, uh, like a, like, like an O metal with TJ, with the TJ Omega emblem on it, cyber key done up in my style. Uh, thing hanging in front of my face. Uh, this is just a little jade charm that my girlfriend got me. So, like, I keep it right there. It's like a little fish. All right. Next pack, Girder's back. Which is, like, he's whipping around that, that, two, that uh, steel girder pretty, pretty fiercely. It's for a card. Cedra. Oh, that's a cool looking Cedra too. Like that. Fan of waves. Frillish. Houndour. Houndour doing some heavy training again. Like I like. I like the idea of Pokemon. Like seeing these cards. Like these younger Pokemon are in training. Like I like. I like the theme. The theme is so good. Scatterbug. Hone Edge again. Gligar. Cherim. As the reverse hollow. And then Marowak. So we got we finally have a Marowak out of all after all of those Cubones. Two five three, I'm not sure that's an appropriate one right now, dude. I don't think you thought that one out very well. See, uh, the O-Metal would be easier. The thing is, like, I can resin cast. I just can't. I can resin cast and I can paint. I can't, um, I can't sculpt. So I would have to have someone, uh, I would have to have someone actually sculpt the, uh, the key or the emblem into an O-Metal. There's 3D printing, and I have a 3D printer, but then I would need 3D modeling. So either way, I have to pay someone to do it for me. All right. So now, now that we've dealt with the scraps, it is time to delve into the booster box itself. Actually, hang on. Let me do it this way. Which one? Do I do we want to do the elite trainer box now and do and get the eight packs out of that, or do we want to save that for last and just so basically basically what do you, what do you think we should do next? Do do we want to do the ETB? Do we want to do the ETB before we get into the booster box, or do we want to save the ETBs for the finale? TG Omega Ranger keys. We talked about Beast Wars, my moment to G1 Season 2's Microbots and how such a random episode became more significant thanks to Beast Wars Season 3's The Nemesis. It's interesting how that works, isn't it? Box for last, booster first. All right, so I guess we're doing the booster box first. Save the box for last, save the box for last, save for last, save the box, save the box. Okay, 
Oh, I, I'm guessing everyone wants me to do the ET the the ETB last. So let's start let's start into these packs. Oh, it's so nice. It's hard it's hard to beat just like a full pack of booster box. I don't want to just like start pulling from the front. Well, well, I guess I will. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It's all random. An O combo of Omel's for me, Vangelis, and Aaron, the WTF combo. You'd have to decide who's the head, who's the body, and who's the legs. It's a TJ. It's a new me. Hello. Welcome. I don't know why I'm getting little lag spikes on my uh, card cam today. It's weird. <laughs> okay. That is about the most serious Mawile I've ever seen. <laughs> All right. Hang on, two, three, four. Let's actually do this properly now. All right. Golbat. Looking like the Batman. Gliscor. In it. Indeedy. <laughs> oh, oh, there's a... Oh, I can't remember, I can't remember the name. It's... Yeah, it's it. Yeah, it's the T Pokemon. Someone's gonna remind me in the chat. And I'm gonna feel stupid, but I never like run across that one. I remember Polti Geist, but that's the evolution. Sinisty, thank you. Mawile. Fomantis again. Remoraid. Spearo. Pachirisu. That's a new one. Reverse Hollow Spearo. And Lurantis again. And just normal this time. I might use that for a deck. I, I keep wanting to build that grass steel deck. I feel like Fomantis and Lumantis might have a spot in that. How much is that Mawile because the art is beautiful? I don't know. I mean, it's probably cheap. It's probably just an uncommon card. Uh, hello, Super Megatron. Did you miss a really good pull? Uh, the only good pull so far is that Tapu Koko, Rainbow V Max Rare, and we we did get one of this. It wasn't in this. It wasn't from Battle Styles, but we did get a Sojourner Full Art. So those are our good pulls so far. But we've barely started. I've only opened one pack from the booster box. Evangelist needs to be the chest. He likes chests. See, that's the thing. It's like, because would Vangelis be the chest or would he be the legs because he's the one who carries the podcast? Think about that. Or is he the head because he's the lead host of the podcast? Oh, so. Gotta think about this kind of stuff. See, because anyone who ends up being the legs is also the butt of the podcast. No, I don't think anyone really wants that part, so. Honchcrow again. Cedra. Weeping Bell. <laughs> he's just laying out and chilling. There's Murkrow. Look, he's in a... That's a gothic Murkrow. <laughs> Dude hanging out in a graveyard. Tepig again. Hone Edge. Got a lot of Hone Edge. Electabuzz. Ball Toy. Cheruby. Reverse Hollow. And there's Phalanx again. Phalanx again. There's 163 cards in this series, so I'm not sure it, uh, I think it's just bad, I think it's just, uh, bad randomization so far. It's given me so many duplicates. TJ's the head because he has the face for a symbol. Yes, Zbot, the first episode of Common Rider Stronger is now legally available on YouTube. Though it's it's episode two where you see Stronger's origin, and it's like the most badass origin in Common Rider history. So I, I'm waiting for them to upload episode two. See, Aaron being the arms means he's also like the torso. So I feel like that would mean our combo would have helicopter blades on the back. It's like that that that's where that one that's where that combo makes sense to me. Alright. Durant. Haven't seen him so far. Per ugly. It's 
pretty art for something called Pearl Ugly. Tool Jammer. Silicobra. Houndour again. Still like that art. Lick a tongue. Don't! No lick a tongue. Don't run at me like that. Thank you, K Noah. Go handle car stuff. Thanks for stopping in. Horsey! Oh, that's pretty artwork. Really like the shading on that one. Mankey! Reverse Hollow Salazzle. There's Colossal. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I'm trying to make him out because he's like. Yeah, because his face is on fire, so I couldn't quite make out like where his positioning was. All right, okay. Opinion on Toei Animation Rants that flood the anime scene on YouTube. I'm not in the anime scene on YouTube. I've never seen a one. I have no opinion. That's easy. Yeah, he does look like a kaiju. A lot of Pokemon look like kaijus if you angle them right, especially now that we have Gigantamax. Heat blast vibes from that art. It's very hot art. All right. Forward to the bottom. Let's see. Tower of Waters. Karina's Focus. If that again, if that one's got a full art, it's gonna be huge. Per ugly. Yeah, burr. All he's fetching the Pokeball. He's playing fetch with the Pokeball. Sound Blaster, don't hail Hydra here yet. Glammeow. Corfish. Scatterbug. Cubone again. Reverse Hollow Onyx. Ultra Rare Victini. Where is my Victini fan in the chat? Are you here today? I can't remember who's always asking for a hollow Victini, but here we go. Hollow Victini actually exists in this series. Here we go. So Victini actually has several hollows in in uh, battle styles. Uh, Victini has the ultra rare that we just pulled. He has a full art rare, and he has a rainbow rare. There is a rainbow Victini. That's one of the cards I really want. I don't think it's a huge card. Well, we don't know which one are the huge cards because the series hasn't distributed enough yet. But we know everyone wants that Tyranitar, me included. Did we pull the full art rare last time? No, I've never opened this series before. So I've never had an opportunity to Victini. At least not that, at least not that one. All right. Except the level ball. What does the level ball do? Search your deck for a Pokemon with 90 HP or less. Reveal and put into your hand. Awesome. Single strike energy. Luxio. There is a new Luxray in this one. I want it. Spoink. Roly Coly. Frillish. Esper. Blipbug. Electivire. Reverse Hollow. And prime ape. Jeez, these are these are such this is such good artwork on these cards in this series. I really like this so far. Thoughts on spitting image. I don't know what that is far. <laughs> if you get a double, please, we can work something out. Nick, uh, stay tuned. I've got a lot more to open. Yeah, last stream we got the full art shiny Mewtwo. That was like 
So, I, yeah. So I found out, yeah, it was like the number five card in Hidden Fates was that Mewtwo. And then the uh, the Espeon I got is the number three card. So not bad at all. So normally when I only have one opportunity of stuff like that, it always, like, sputters out and fails. Hello, Pyra. Oh, you're not going anywhere. Well, keep an eye out. We're going to see what's going on. The stream layout looks am is amazing. Thank you. I don't know why. Like like using the like using the card as a face cam border seems so obvious and like I didn't see anyone else doing it. Thought that thought that just made sense. Cacturn Doddler. We're working we're working up to some of my favorite bug types. Indeedy, again. Crawdont. Yamper. Still so cute. Don't make fun of ball search. Don't make fun of ball search. It's what fetching is. Murkrow. Sandalit. Another resin photo. Didn't take you for a grass type. It's to match Scyther. Simple as that. I want. I, and it's to be green. But I, I like green. All right. Bellsprout. Yeah, that. Mindfu. Horsey again in the reverse. There's something weird here. All right, so sent to scorch. Is a rare. The energy, re energy sir. Girder. Hang on. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Why were there fourteen cards in that pack? Because like Scent of Scorch was my rare, and then three more cards were on top of that. Something got like weird in the distribution on that pack. It's not even a misprint pack. It's like a misrun pack where the next three cards from the next pack got shuffled into this pack. So now I'm actually curious if what that one is. Am I feeling it now? What am I, what am I feeling? Feeling emotional? Feeling the weather? All right, let's see what this one does. All right, one, two, three, four, presuming they aren't out of order. Okay, I guess they're not. I guess it was just the one pack. Car coal. Okay, so now I have that whole evolution line. He looks sinister. I've never seen a car coal that just looked like he was out to get me. I mean, it's cool to see. I have gotten weird packs before. Like, I haven't gotten a god pack where they're all rares and hollows, but I've gotten I've gotten some interesting sorts in packs before. Pig Knight. His training is eating, so he is Goku. Fan of Waves. Chimcho. Onyx. Sizzlipede. Glamiao. Galarian Slowpoke. Rapid Strikes Roll of Swirls in the Reverse Hollow. And Aegislash. Normal rare this time. You haven't seen your car call. Reminds you of the haunted car from Regular Show. Never went in, never saw a Regular Show. I'll take your word for it, though. Hello, Ice. I'm doing okay. Uh, what have I got so far? Any good cards? Um, we got a we got an ultra rare Victini, and we got these two, the Stojourner and the re the Rainbow Rare Tapu Koko B. I'm gonna prop those up just so people can like see the good stuff. I don't have a whole lot of room to do that, but we'll do it for now. Uh, would I want figure arts Voldemort? I've never been a Harry Potter fan. I've never been into Harry Potter, so that would probably be a no. 
Uh, two five three. Yes, that's where the name pun is. It's it's charcoal and it's like a coal car, like like they would actually use in the mines to move coal around. All right. Buffalon's back. Crawdon. I've got a lot of crawdons. Grump. What is that art? What is that art? Like, that is... Like, hang on. Illustrator Tomokazu Kamiya. Um, I'm pretty sure it's his child. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the artist's kid who drew that. At least it's unique. Cubone. Murkrow. Tepig. Hone Edge. Electabuzz. He is very Deku. Like, Deku looks like ready to go all out. Reverse Hollow Hone Edge. Galarian Slowbro. With a dark type going on. That's not that's not the type I expected him to be. Pigcasso. That's not a bad that's not a bad phrasing for it. What went wrong with the Prime Wars? What didn't go wrong with the Prime Wars? All right. Next up, one, two, three, four, down to the bottom. All right. Next up on our little adventure, single strike style mustard. What do you want on? What do you want on your hot dog? Single strike style mustard. I, I want that mustard that gives you a kick, but only that one time. Golbat. Bruno, hey, one of the original Elite Four. It's been a while since I've seen him. Zoo. <laughs> okay, that's the funniest Zubat I've seen in a while. <sighs> All right. We'll go with that. Cubone. Frillish. Blipbug. Roly Coley. Reverse Hollow Colossal. Now I can actually see him a little bit better now that the Hollow Foil is not in the way. He does look epic in that shot. And Mindshow. Very cool art. Very cool art. God, I dig the art in this set. So thematic. Google Golbat with mouth closed. I dare you. No. Golbat is like 50% mouth. Why would you want him to close it? You looked up the... You looked up the artist for Grumpig. He's been doing the weird po Pokemon art for a long time. Well, if it stands out, why not? I mean, there's so many different art styles in Pokemon cards in general. Why not do something weird? Would I buy a Lego idea set of Samus Aran's gunship in a heartbeat sound blaster? You don't even have to ask me that. Yes. Seedra. Rapid Strike Scroll of Swirls. Cacturn. Mindfu. Silicobra. Galarian Mr. Mime. I haven't seen him yet. This doesn't seem to be a fairly weak Pokemon, but the trick is nice. Bellsprout. Onyx. Reverse Hollow Licky Licky. And then a normal Licky Licky. Your opponent switches with their act active Pokemon with one of their bench Pokemon. With 100 damage and forces them to switch, that's pretty rough. That's a, that's a dirty card. It's always weird when the reverse hollow matches the rare, you know? It's like, on one hand, it immediately becomes deck viable because you've got two of them. On the other hand, you couldn't give me some variety? At least make one of them a little bit more special. I 
Hang on. I don't know that phone number. Go away. One, two, three, four. All right. Sorry for the lateness building Gundam. Hello, Toa. Ghastly, 1% evil, 99% hot gas. All right. One, it's ongoing the review process now. Two, rebuilds based on other versions of the ship, plus Zero Suit Samus figure, Ridley with optional rebuild parts, different varieties of Zebian space pirates. I mean, if the Super Mario Lego is going well, yeah, I hope they do more. I would, I think Legend of Zelda would probably be next if they were doing more Nintendo Lego. Like, I think you'd have more you can do with that than you can. Like, much as I love Metroid, I will admit, Metroid doesn't have a whole lot you could do with it Lego-wise. Also, it does well enough, but it's never been, like, a hugely successful franchise for Nintendo. Despite a very, very uh, supportive fan base. All right. Goli score. Bruno. Rapid Strike Mustard again. Frillish. Houndour. Scatterbug. Waiting for the Houndoom to go with that. Hone Edge. Gligar. Flying around like Superman in Smallville. Energy Recycler. <laughs> VMAX Victini. It's a Victini day. Oh, that's just a pretty card. I don't care if it's only like a $2 card. That's so pretty. I love that. All you want for Lego is something uh, for Bionicle. I mean, they tried bringing back Bionicle. Like, Bionicle has very dedicated fans, but it it's never enough to bring it back. Like... Unfortunately, like Bionicle just never do like the 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 second try for Bionicle just did really badly. So I, you can't really blame you can't really blame them for uh for not going for it any more than they have already. All right, so the two Victinis down there, so we can see them both. <laughs> oh, jeez, my. That's funny. That's funny. Now, if I get the Rainbow Rare or the uh, the full art Victini, then you know this is gonna, this is just a weird this is just a weird box. Kind of a fallen titan. That's not a bad way to phrase it. Like super popular, had a good run, but it just it's. Just, it's I know it, it's time. It's time has come and gone. Yeah, you're not gonna see Lego Pokemon for a long time. Mega Constructs have been doing that. I wish Lego would get it though, because I don't, Mega Constructs doesn't really have any ideas other than make Pokemon out of bricks, and a lot of them don't look good at all. But it's all they really do. Like, give me a Pokemon Center. Give me a gym battle. Give me, you know, you know the Elite Four Stadium. Give me. Jeez, how many how many different like iconic locations in the anime you could do? Like give me a Team Rocket HQ, give me a game center, give me something. Give me a Bisharp. <laughs> we haven't even <laughs> We haven't even seen a pawn yard yet. Single strike energy. Camping gear. Vomantis. Remoraid. Spiro. Pachirisu. Chirubi? Jeez, I've gotten so many of them in Reverse Hollow today. Conk Elder. He looks kind of Samurai Jack in this one, doesn't he? Like, very simple, no real edges to his artwork. I'm getting that vibe a little bit, strangely enough. Okay, let's see. We're getting thin down here on the right side. Still got tons to go, though. 
Yeah, they didn't really advertise the Bionicle relaunch, did they? I mean, but you'd think if, like, there's such a dedicated fan base, they would just not have to advertise it. Mega Bloks Japan made Kamen Rider 5 sets. I know there's, like, a lot of unofficial Lego-like things. I, I think I remember that 5 set you're talking about. All right. A lot of these packs seem to start with Buffalant. I've noticed. Just the way it sorts. Urn of Vitality. Spupa, who we haven't seen. There's Pawnyard. Looking awesome. Why isn't he one of the training cards? He looks like he's always training. Is that a little, little boy made of blades? Timber. We also... We also haven't seen Timber. I've I, like I've gotten a lot of girders so far, but geez, he look how proud he is. Tepig, Glamiao, Silicobra, Reverse Hollow Entei. Look at the art on Entei. Oh, that is absolutely epic. Oh, I want that in Hollow. I want the Hollow of that. And behind it is Vivalon, who is a very peaceful contrast to that Entei. Still had to advertise to get kids to buy your toys. This is true. It does get harder to advertise toys to kids, though, when they're going to YouTube for all their content and not watching... Uh, they're not like they couldn't even like like legally they're not even allowed to air Lego commercials during like Lego Bionicle or uh, Lego Ninjago or anything like that. So it gets it's a lot harder to advertise toys than it used to be. Lego fans aren't fond of how license dominated the themes have become in the last four years. I mean that's what sells. I mean I've seen plenty of Lego that aren't licensed. I've seen them do plenty of original things. But yeah, but there's just so many people who just want to, like, I want to see my stuff as Lego things. I want to build my stuff out of Lego things. And I'm kind of, I admittedly, I'm kind of the same way. I was pulling for uh, the Red Dwarf Lego idea set that came out, and they they didn't go with that. It's just not enough people know Red Dwarf. Set looked cool, though. Honchcrow. Heatmore. Scroll of Scorn. It's just a list of people you hate. Houndour? Where is the hound doom to that? Lick a tongue? Horsey? Mankey? Mawile again. Again. Awesome art. Embor! Jeez, the fire types are just out for, like, they're just bringing heat in the artwork in this one. Bolton! Look at, he is majestic in that shot. That is cool. That is cool. Loving this. Thanks. I think what makes this fun is that I never I didn't really look too much into I didn't look too much into battle styles before I started this. Um I didn't really look into like oh well these these Pokemon are in the sets, these are these are things. So when like Shinx and Luxray come up, that's a huge surprise to me. Because I love I love I love me some Shinx. Uh, Red Dwarf was a show with a giant floppy disk. Um, I don't think that's the show, 253. I don't recall a giant floppy disk in Red Dwarf. Red Dwarf is British sci-fi sitcom. With some actually, like, brilliant sci-fi writing in it. Mixed in with some really funny stuff. You know the fun part about this? Like, I'm putting aside all the code cards... I won't be able to use them till Friday. If I try to scan them into the online game, it'll tell me like this card can't be used till Friday. Like you like the cards are like the, for some reason those are street dated. I don't know why. I don't know what makes a difference. All right. There's Grumpig again. 
Single Strike Scorn, uh, Scroll of Scorn, Brushix, Onyx, Spiro, Sizzlipede. There's my Shanks. There's my Shanks. Doing a handstand. No, no. He's handstand. Do he's doing handstands down a staircase. Which might be one of the more dangerous training exercises you could do. Cacnea. Reverse Hollow Cubone. Ultra Rare Corviknight. Look at you. I haven't even seen your evolutionary line yet. Well, you're you're a you're a V card, so you're a basic. Your evolution line's probably not in this. That's cool. That is cool. Go ahead and put you over here. I don't need a top loader for just like normal ultra rares. I did it for Victini because Victini cool. Very reflective. It is. Like the ultra rares aren't so much holographic as they are glossy. Shinx is the daredevil. I mean, that's a legitimate training. It's great for upper body. It, I mean, it's also just an invitation to break your neck. And now people are randomly talking about spider carnage in my chat. I mean, I'm, I've never really been a fan of spider carnage, honestly. Just because... I don't know. It didn't look like like the symbiote normally just like really reworks the costume. It doesn't just like slightly modify it the way that one did. I also don't like this Carnage symbiote on anyone but uh, Cassidy. It's just it doesn't seem right otherwise. Victini got the respect it deserves. I mean, yeah, like cross fingers for that rainbow, Victini. I still have plenty of packs where it might be hiding. Darter. Durant again. Camping gear. Roly Coly. Frillish. Esper. Blip Bug. Silicobra. Reverse Hollow Bronzong. Holographic Octillery. Once again, Rapid Strike style. He's doing Whirlpool so hard, like he's taking all the water from around him, and he's just standing on sand. That is how intense his training has gotten. Venom version of Spider Gwen looks great. I think, though, I think in the comics right now, every version of Spider Gwen is technically the Venom version. All right, next card in the pack. Next, next pack in the box. Let's be correct about this. All right. You've seen some diehard Lego fans claim my uncle was a bad license and no idea why Survivor so long. Some people just don't know how this works. Fudge Wizard, yes, I am streaming to Twitch and YouTube right now. So, if I'm answering chat room questions that you're not noticing, that's why. Because it's happening in the other chat room. Which means this, this is going like double the speed of a normal chat. So, if I miss a message or anything, I do apologize. Phoebe, again. Carnivine. That's about as cool as I've ever seen a carnivine look. Normally, like, I'm so, like, normally, like... Carnivine is not a design I am into, but hey, make it work. Firo! Wondering where you were. Cheruby. Mindfu, doing the splits. Silicobra. Such a sad, pouty expression. Galarian Mr. Mime. Bellsprout. Reverse Hollow Dottler. And another Aegislash. I'm getting viable options for that deck I want to build that I'll probably never get around to actually building. Okay, and last pack for the right side of this box. I 
I had my choice of uh, boxes too, so hopefully I picked a good box. Or else I'm gonna. Well, no, because this is still fun. This is still. It's still fun just seeing like all these new cards and getting so many new things at once. What do I think of Carnage Thanos? No. Just no. Again, if Carnage is on anyone who is not Cassidy, no. Favorite bug type of each gen? You're really going to make me think about every single generation? Like, I'll tell you, Scyther is always going to be my favorite Pokemon. That's just how that goes. And right now, for Gen 8, it's Orbeetle. I love Orbeetle's design, and his, v and his uh, Gigantamax form is easily my favorite Gigantamax. So... So I'll give you the I'll give you my all-time favorite and my current favorite. Cuz I can't remember the gens. I can't remember you know, I I can't remember what gen Durant was in, you know? If that was going to be one of my picks. I just don't remember. 898 Pokémon now. Or something like that. There's a lot of Pokémon. I can't keep them all straight. All right, Perugly, Tower of Darkness, Ominous, Gligar, Sandalit, Bronzong, we haven't seen him yet, Cacnea, Spoink, Reverse Hollow Escape Rope, and the Glaring Mr. Rhyme. Ball Juggling, Ball Fetch, and Ball, <laughs> Ball Search, and ball juggling today. I didn't know it was going to be that kind of stream. All right. So that's half of the booster box down. Um, we got like two ultra. We got three ultra rares to our name so far. Ah. And a stiff back. Also have a stiff back. So hopefully. All the good packs are on the left side of the box. Reverse Hollow Escape Rope is the leading card in the meta. Like, like right now I'm just being observant of uh, like artwork more than anything. I, like I still have to, I, like I have to go back through later on and. You still have a shiny Scyther in Pokemon Go. I'm a friend of yours and willing to trade it. Uh, Fize, I don't know what the trading distance is. Like, I don't know if we're close enough to actually trade or not. Like, I, that would be super cool. But I don't know if I can actually get it from you. Golbat. He is vengeance. He is the knight. Runo. Carcoal again? Ball toy. Timber. Corefish. I feel like I haven't. I've, I've seen. I feel like I haven't gotten enough corefish for all of the. Uh, for all of his evolutions I've gotten so far. Cacnea. Mawile again. Reverse hollow bruxish. Like you needed to be flashier. Hey, there's my boy. We have us an ore beetle. It's the psychic type ore beetle, not a grass type, so not for my deck, but any ore beetle is a good ore beetle. I was actually like driving like I drove like I got in my car from Target the other yesterday and felt something crawling around on my leg, so I was like in a panic knocked it off, thinking spider or something like that. I looked down at the floorboard of my car. It's a ladybug. So now I felt bad, so I kind of got it to crawl up on my finger, and I I uh, bl blew it out the door back into the wild. So Pokemon can now be transferred into Pokemon Home. I don't have Pokemon Home either. I didn't want to pay for a service I wasn't really too into. Yes, I survived a ladybug attack. It tried to gnaw away my ankles. Yeah, I hear yeah, ladybugs are supposed to be good luck. I'm not a superstitious type, though. Buffalant. Level ball again. Spupa. 
disgusting name. Bellsprout, Bronzor, Murkrow, Horsey, Cheruby, Reverse Hollow, Fan of Waves, and another Asia Slash. Jeez, I've gotten a lot of Asia Slash. Pokemon Home is free. Which one is the one that was like, there was like a monthly fee attached to one of them, I thought. Like, it was a small one, but I didn't want to do it. Okay, so Pokemon Home is... Yeah, Pokemon Home is 15 bucks a year. Thank you. Like, that's not that much, but I'm not going to use it for anything. Because, like, I don't hoard Pokemon. Like, I get one of each, and that's basically it. Pokebank. Pokebank's another one. All right. One, two, three, four. Down to the bottom. That's also Pokemon Home. Okay. Luxio. God, look at you. See, it looks like it's training in the water, which is weird for an electric type. God. Luxray's family line alone makes me want to put together some electric deck. Spupa. Single strike style mustard. There's Shinx, so Shinx and Luxio. Give me the Lux Ray. Blipbug. Ponyard. Mankey. Sizzlipede. Reverse Hollow Ponyard. And a Primeape. Okay, so. We got that going for us in this pack. Pokemon Bed. Pokemon the Airplane. There was a Pokemon Airplane, wasn't there? Pokebank is the one that had the yearly subscription. Pokemon Home gives you a single storage box for free. Okay. Now that we're clear on that. I still don't have either. Okay. You go over there. Two, three, four. My desk is going to be so cluttered with code cards for the next two days. Like I, I finally figured out the easy way to get them all scanned in. And it and now it's just now they're just gonna be piled up again. More Peko. Going going on his his dark mood. That's cool. I feel like I've got I feel like more Peko gets so many different cards. Like um Oh, we were we were doing uh Shining Fates and I just kept pulling like different art more Pecos. Tool Jammer. Brush X again. Houndour, still want the Hound Doom. Scatterbug, Hone Edge, Gligar, Electabuzz, Reverse Hollow Vivalon, Sanaconda. Okay. Okay. That's another new one. New Hollow Foil. You use XA to get people into the franchise. See. I think you've told me that before, and that's such a hard one. I, I feel like that would be a hard one to recommend because the theme is so weird. Like, it's a good story and good characters, but it's... I feel like it'd be hard to approach. Someone took more Pecos Chicken Nuggie. Well, then, yes, he's uh, completely justified in going... Yeah, three... Um, Ice, no, Ice Cheat, I play the online game, so I don't give out the card. I, I don't give out the code card, sorry. At least it's not Angel, Angela Anaconda. Never, why are you bringing that up? Super Mega Drive just bought Animal Crossing. Wow. <laughs> Game's been out for a year. Just wanted to feel the waters and see if it was going to be worth it, right? <laughs> Took you this long. Hope you have fun, dude. Um, if you need anything to get started, let me know. Like, hit me up on Twitter. I've always got, like, tons of things lying around that, that are un otherwise annoying to get, but they're just taking up space for me. Firo. There's the escape rope again. Grumpig is so weird on the art. Galarian Slowpoke. Corfish. Sandalit. Roly Coley. Esper. That's cute. Cute artwork. Reverse hollow clay doll. Whoo! 
it's not the super Tyranitar. It's not the alternate art Tyranitar everybody wants, but I will take a full art Tyranitar any day of the week. Okay, so you you definitely get a top loader. We'll sit on this and we'll find out you know, give it a few give it like a month and we'll find out exactly uh we'll get we'll find out exactly how much it's worth. Uh it's not shiny, Ben. It it I mean I mean physically, yes, it's shiny. But a shiny Tyranitar is more to the yellow side. It's more like a brown color. Yeah, that's just a Tyranitar, but it is a full art Tyranitar. Okay, that's a good pull. That's a good pull. Tyranitar is like the replacement Charizard for this set. It is it is the big deal Pokemon. Like, in a weird way, more so than the Pokemon on the box. You found full episodes of Vampires on YouTube. I'm sorry. Don't watch it. Please, for the love of God, don't watch it. What's the highest HP you've seen on a Pokemon card, and have they broken 1,000 yet? Two, um, it's a, the, I think the highest one I've seen is 500, and that's like a super special like promo card that has... like. There's a downside to why it has 500. It's, very, it's a very hard card to use. I think it's, I think it's the Articuno Zapdos Moltres card. I think it's one of those cards where if someone manages to knock it out, they get like three prize cards, which means they're halfway to winning the game with just that one. Dottler. Pig Knight again. The Level Ball. Timber. Tepig. Glammeow. Silicobra. Frillish. Reverse Hollow Honch Crow. Hey, a Victory Bell. Look at him. That that might be like the most serene victory bell I've ever seen in my life. So I've got that whole evolutionary line from this series now. Full episodes of Chaotic. I never saw Chaotic. I just remember seeing commercials for it. Have I ever played Magic the Gathering? Um, Skyfire, not since high school. It's been a long, long time since I was interested in Magic the Gathering, and it's changed so much since then. I don't think I'm... I don't think I'd really be into it today. Though, honestly, there's part of me is like, every time I walk into a, into a card section anymore, Magic is the only thing available. I kind of want to get into Magic just so I have cards to open. All right, next card in the lot. One, two, three, four. Okay. Next up, Rabbit Strike Energy. Phoebe again. Heat more. Haven't seen much of him. Cheruby. Lick a tongue. That's still creepy. Electabuzz. Esper. Timber, Cedra, ooh, Hollow Crobat. Oh, I dig Crobat. He's he's got one. Oh, uh, no, he's in the. Sh no, I was I was thinking like Shining Fates had a special Crobat set. I like they make a big deal out of Crobat. You know, it's like no one cared about Zubat and Golbat, and then they make Crobat, and Crobat's freaking awesome. Four kids was trying to steal ownership of Chaotic, so they tr uh, so they can make more money off of it. That does seem like a very four kids thing to do. Try Commander. The problem is Skyfire. I don't really have anyone to play with, 
And we're still waiting for it to be safe to go out and play games with people like that again. So that's a ways off. I think right now, if I get into any new game, new game, it's going to be the Digimon game just because, you know, that, that interests me a little bit more just from a nostalgia factor. Uh, 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 almost spilled those. Almost like almost dropped those on the ground. That would be my luck. That'd be the one with the with the the rare tar, the like the super rare Tyranitar. All right, rapid strike energy. Experience share, which I haven't got many of so far. Carcoal, Spiro, Sizzlipede, Shinx again, Cacnea, like. I feel like I don't see enough Cacnea cars just in the desert where a cactus belongs, you know? It's... Bonyard. There's a Luxray. It's a reverse hollow, no less. If your opponent's active Pokemon already has damage counters on it, this attack does 100 more damage and only takes two energy cards to do that. That's disgusting. Oh, that's a horrific card. Ooh, that's that's nasty. And then Mr. Rhyme in the back. I have to remember that card. I need to start reading the cards more because there's some cards in here that are just like brutal. You want a Mega of Luxray? I, I, I want them to make me a shiny card for Luxray. Shiny Luxray is my favorite of all of the shiny Pokemon. All right. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. I need to learn how to do it in Japanese. Okay. More Peko again. Still angry. Still hangry. Dublade. I've seen so many Aegislash, and I've seen so many of the Hone Edge, but that's the first Dublade of the day. Looking nice. Cheryl. Electabuzz. Bellsprout. Bronzor. Murkrow. Horsey. Reverse Hollow Mind Shell. And an ultra rare Tyranitar. There's a theme today for just Tyranitars and Victinis in all of the forms they come in. The Luxray would be an evil kitty. It's not the same art. No, it is not. It is the normal ultra rare. This is a good box, my dude. I mean, so far, it's not bad. Um, I would really prefer, like, if I'm going to get multiple Tyranitars, I really do want the alternate artwork. And not because it's the rare card. Not because it's going to be an expensive card. Because I think it's just a funny, fun card. Like, this is, where, this is the difference between, like, me chasing the rainbow and me you know doing uh me doing all of this like pokemon collecting i'm genuinely interested in collecting the cards i'm not looking for resale value i'm not looking for like scalping like super rare cards or anything i just want to have fun doing it and i have been having fun doing it am i ever doing another episode of tj tv um because I don't have Blip to upload to anymore that would let me monetize TJTV, no. In the old format, in the old style of TJTV, no, I'm not going to be doing that anymore. I'm still trying to figure out how to do a cartoon review show on YouTube that doesn't that isn't going to my that isn't going to get my channel deleted, but is also going to still be like a really funny and like entertaining watch. It's a hard one to figure out. Favorite sixth Sentai team? I can't tell you offhand. I have not. I can't remember what the sixth Sentai theme songs all are. 
Rainbow Tyranitar and Rainbow Victini in the same pack. That I don't think that's possible. I don't think that's possible, Michael. Favorite Ranger suit. Um. Hmm. That's actually a good question because there's been some really cool ones over the years. Like right now, I'm super into Zen into a Zen Kaiser. <laughs> Or I spit one down the wrong way. You'll wait patiently. All right. All right. Cacturn. Rabbit Strike Sile Mustard. Cheryl. Such, like, prim and proper. Galarian Mr. Mime. Scatterbug. Yamper. Still adorable. I almost hate that this Pokemon evolves, because both... Bolton is like an okay looking Pokemon, but why would you ever get rid of Yamper? It's like it's like the Raichu effect. Why would you ever do that? Ligatung. Zubat again. Crocheted Zubat. Galarian Slowbro in reverse hollow. And another Conch Elder. Yeah, uh Go Kaidra has some really cool suit designs. Again, very thematic. All right. So how many packs do we have left in the booster box? Eight left in the booster box, and then eight left in the Elite Trainer. So we got 16 packs to go. Why does Yamper have no teeth? Well, because a lot of Pokemon don't have teeth, or the teeth are hidden. He might have teeth, and you just don't see him in the artwork. Excuse me. My inbox is blowing up. I don't know why everyone chose today to, to start dropping things on me. Zen Kaiser's suit is gorgeous, and anyone who disagrees can fight me. You will not see me fighting you. Because here's the thing. I already really like Big One's suit design, and then you mix it with uh, Aka Ranger, and then you mix it with a little bit of Green Ranger, it's such a good design. I want a figure art of it so bad. They don't do figure arts for Sentai anymore, but just like one time. One time. Special release. I don't care how you do it. Just give it to me. Cedra. Weeping Bell. XP Share. Slowpoke again. Fomantis. Remoraid. Bone, Bone, Bone. Pawn the Yard. Reverse Hollow Core Fish. And there's a hollow embor. Two embors in this in this box so far. But the hollow effect, like that just gets way more intense. It's like it has like a little uh like a like a little blur to it almost. Alright. Alright, next up, next up, next up. You love the Shadow Ranger design? Shadow Ranger's awesome too. I love the you know, like Deca Master. Super cool. I gotta figure that out someday. Like my head is thought of like let's do like a top ten writer designs or something like that, and then but everyone would know I'd put I'd put everyone would know what the top one in my list would be already. All right. Sword Sword Word and Shield Bird. Without being a reverse hollow. I have more of these in reverse hollow than I have normally. Crawdaunt. Dublade again. Timber. Corefish. Cacnea. Mawile. Spoink. Reverse hollow Bruno. Crick. <laughs> That's a weird one to get. That's a weird one to get. Full art Cricketune V. No, it's not stronger. 
it wouldn't be stronger. I like stronger's design, but stronger's a little bit plain and very old fashioned, as well you would expect. Did not expect a cricket tune. No one expects the cricket tune. But it's a full art hollow. I will take it. I don't want to. I don't want to. Actually, I don't want to cover up Corviknight here. We get. We'll get the packs out. We'll get the uh, sleeves out of the way. We've not had cricket tots. Um, that cricket tune was a V card, which meant it's a basic Pokemon. So they don't have to have cricket tot in the set. You found a common writer stronger coloring book online? <sighs> Suki, bad question. I'm just going to tell you that bad question. Okay. Yeah, Krikatoon has like one of the most surreal Pokemon cries I've ever heard. It's a bizarre one to listen to. Uh, yeah, if it's going to be... Uh, like, if I was doing a top 10 writer designs, it'd be Gills at the top. And, like, uh, Cross Magma would be probably second. Karina's Focus. Per Ugly. Honchcrow. Pachirisu. Chimcho. Haven't seen Chimcho so far yet. Minor errand running. <laughs> Hone Edge. Horsey, Mankey, Reverse Hollow Grump Pig. How many of you am I going to have now? And there's a normal Stojourner. Just to have the comparison. It's such a bizarre idea. I feel like there's just a lot of rock type Pokemon that it's just like stick a face on a rock. You know, maybe it's a like, is it a, like, even if it's just like, okay, we, we'll just stick arms on an Easter Island statue. That That's a Pokemon now. Oh, we'll stick a face and arms onto, like, a, uh, uh, the Stonehenge archway. That's a Pokemon now. I mean, I mean, like, uh, Rider Nerd, I don't mean, like, stick a face on a Pokeball, because that's Voltorb and Electro. They did that once, and they get away with that once. Uh, no, I just mean, like, there's a lot of just rock Pokemon that are just... It's a rock with a face. Different types of rock, don't get me wrong. Two, three, four. All right. All right, come on, weird Tyranitar card. I'm still looking for you. Luxio. Weeping Bell. Indeedy. Blip Bug. Pawn Yard. Mankey. Sizzlipede, Ball Toy, Reverse Hollow Cacnea, and another Hollow Octillery. Um, no Sound Blaster. I, uh, Wild Thornberries came around that time where I wasn't really interested in watching cartoons, at least not like current modern cartoons. Can't wait to see Tokyo's Sentai Great Power in the next episode. It's just it, it's they're just gonna start daydreaming and imagining. Just to, just like they're just gonna stop the fight and wait. Hang on, I have to use my imagination now. I mean, but if it does something weird like switch all their colors around, that'd be cool. Suki, you're right. Dwayne's a very good rock type. He is the ultimate rock type. He is the most electrifying rock in all of rock entertainment. Okay. Indeedy again. Crawdont. Tower of Waters. Zubat. Still weird to see Zubat that way. Remoraid. Onyx. Mawile. Cherubi. Bufalant Reverse Hollow. Single Strike Urshifu. VMAX. 
ultra rare. So we got one of the signature cards for the series. It is an ultra rare, so it does. I am gonna sleeve it. It's not the like. There's alternate art for this. That's like. For both single strike and rapid strike style, there are alternate arts, and they look so freaking cool. That's still pretty cool. Like, he looks like a freaking kaiju. So, I'm going to take that. I will happily take that. Where do you go? You go right there. Alright, the booster box is coming down pretty thin now. It's been a pretty solid booster box. We got the Urshifu. We got some full art. We got some full arts. We got some good full arts. We got a rainbow right off the bat. We got a rainbow. Uh, which Urshifu did I get in the game? I haven't finished the DLC Z-Bot. I still don't have an Urshifu. Least favorite rider suit. Rider Man comes to mind. Um... God, there's been some bad ones. There have been some bad ones. God, I have to sit and think about some of these things. And I'm not qualified because I can't keep track of, like, all the different rider suits in, like, Hibiki. All right. Carnivine. Escape Rope. Tower of Waters. Corpish. Sandalit. Roly Coly. Esper. Shinx. Reverse Hollow Yamper. And there's the victory bell again. Zenkaiger did the Hurricane Ninja art. Yeah. It's I feel like it's going to be really cool how how they handle uh a lot of those series. A lot like a lot of the, like the retro superpowers. Worst Sentai suits. Mm, I don't know. I mean, you. I mean, that starts getting into like a lot of the old ones. Like a lot of the Showa era ones were not great, but that's just because of the age. You hear cross charge is not popular. No, I hated cross charge. It just looked bad. Final form rider finishers. These are very specific questions that require me to actually like sit and ponder and remember things, which is not good when I'm trying to split my attention between the cards I am pulling and the chat room I am reading. Best and worst collectible gimmick in Rider and Sentai. I still think the best were the Gaia memories, just because they were you could use them on their own. And they, you know, and they worked independently as toys. They worked well together. I think the worst one is probably the switch, the uh, the shift cars. I couldn't, I couldn't take shift cars seriously as power ups. They're just toy cars. I couldn't take them seriously as like super electric, like super technology or anything like that. And it just, I don't know. They just didn't do anything for me. Sablaster's got to put his laptop on recharge. Hurry up, we're getting close to the end here. Pig Knight, fan of waves, which I don't think fans work that way. Doddler, Spoink, it's beautiful Spoink art, by the way. Spoink looks like the girl in the anime who just got confessed to. This is the look when Senpai notices you. Galarian Mr. Mime, Scatterbug, Yamper, Lickitung, Reverse Hollow Cacturn, and Electivire. It's good. I got some reason for all those Electivires I've been getting. Worst team roll call poses. Kira Major. It looks like a freeze frame from like a synchronized dance routine, which looks not cool or impressive or anything. Okay. Last pack for the booster box. It is a Tyranitar. All 
All right. Two, three, four to the bottom. So, to finish off the booster box. A Goliath score. Sword Art and Shield Bird again. Firo. Lickitung. Electabuzz. Esper. Timber. Esper, Timber. Esper, Timber. Slowpoke. Reverse Hollow Mawile. And a Santa Scorch. Yeah, there's a lot of darkness in uh, Nintendo. In the. Uh, in Pokemon, you look at the, the right Pokedex entries, and it just gets really messed up. Hello, David. All right. I can, Jeez. I cannot stay comfortable in my chair today. All right. So let me get these out of the way. So decent pulls. Decent pulls. We got a rainbow. We got a couple of... Uh, we got a couple of full hollows. We got a we got a rare, we got a full art uh, Tyranitar, which is awesome. Now it is time to crack this open. So toss the cover away. I do want to I do want to take a look, quick look at that. So we'll put that aside. So battle styles box, very orange and red. He's there's our uh, card game rules, which everyone probably throws away because barely anyone plays. They just collect Let's see the status tokens, which are always neat. I like, okay, all red dice this time. That makes sense for hit points for me. All right, get the insert out of the way. All right. There's no hot. There's no like promo card or anything in this. I do like the artwork for the for the uh, deck protectors. That is nice. There's all the extra energy cards. There's the dividers. All that stuff. And then the part we're interested in. My last eight packs for the day. Alright, I wanna see if the uh, I wanna see if the alt tyranitar is in there. Let's see, yes it is. Yeah, let's see so let's see what we could actually get. Do they point it out on one of the pages? I don't think they do. Yeah, because they point out all the Victinis. There's a Mimikyu Ultra Rare. That would have been nice to get. Ooh, there's an Eternatus VMAX in this set, too. Yeah, but let's take a look. Let's take a look. There's the Rainbow Victini. There's the Tapu Koko we got. So, when we're looking at this... Like, there's the alternate artwork for Urshifu, which is absolutely awesome looking. That That's, like, one of the big pulls. There's all the secret rares, which aren't really secret when you're saying what they are. The Octillery is shiny. That's nice. And there's, there's the big get. Is that Tyranitar just asleep in the woods after he's chowed down? That's the one we're after. That's the that is the pull from the set. And yes, uh, Cheryl, Corn's Focus, Phoebe, they all have rare, ra uh, rainbow rare. Look at that rainbow rare Corviknight. That's glorious. I want that. All right. So. We have eight more packs. Let me, uh, let me see here. Uh, we have, we'll pull one Empoleum, one Tyranitar, then a Rabbit Strike and a Single Strike. So I'm going to set these four aside. These will be for our, this will be for our finale game. 
And we'll go into this. Living in, living in the Pokemon world would be hell, but you could have fire-breathing lizards protecting you from that hell. I mean, they make it seem pretty pleasant, all things considered, considering they let 10-year-olds wander around with, you know, electric mice. Doddler. Indeedy. Crawdont. Corefish right behind it. That's appropriate. Scatterbug. Cubone, Murkrow, Tepig, Reverse Hollow Drampa. We haven't seen Drampa so far. And Meow Stick Hollow. It's a cool hollow effect on that one. Cool artwork in general. I like that one. All right. First pack, first hollow out of that ETB. Am I having a bad chair day? Yes. There's no comfortable way for me to sit when I do these streams because I have to have the camera right in front of me to get the cards. So this has never been a comfortable thing to do. Like, I would love it if I could figure out how to, like, position cameras to let me just sit back and just, like... Uh. All right, let's see what cards I got. But all my stuff has to be up here. So that doesn't work. All right. Firo again. Grumpig. That, that art will never not amuse me. Scorn of Scorn. Scroll of Scorn. Spoink. Bronzor, Tepig, Pachirisu, Mindfu, Reverse Hollow Steelix. We didn't see a Steelix yet in this whole set. Another full art, Stoutland this time. All right, two packs, two hollows out of the ETB, and this one is a full art hollow. Not bad at all so that's three on the day it's going to be that tyranitar that's going to be the big one like the the alternate art is going to be like the card to get out of this whole set but i feel like that that one's still going to be like a decent decent one all right Um, David, I'm doing okay. It's been a weird day. Today's it's been a bit day of uh, harsh reminders, but I'm I'm having a good time today. So I'm I'm trying to keep it, trying to keep my head level and my hopes high. You know, super Yorkie. We need that alt art Tyranitar. I mean, I never get the card like I haven't gotten the card since my very first Pokemon stream you know I haven't got I haven't pulled any big Charizard I didn't I never pulled a big Pikachu from Vivid Voltage I would love to get that Tyranitar but there are cards I've wanted more that I did not get so we will be happy with what we did do get and try just to enjoy it for what it is Carcoal again that's still like Carcoal looks like something out of, uh, like out of a, a twisted metal game. Fies, thank you very much for subscribing. Oh, thank you so much for the support, man. A new Transformer Kingdom toy, Ben. Yes, I do have the new Dinobot. Uh, I did. That's the only Wave Two I've seen around here, outside of one RC. I've not seen the other Deluxes or Inferno yet. All right, Pig Knight, fan of waves. I am a fan of waves, not the beach, but the waves. Salandit, Bellsprout, Mindfu, Yamper again, Glamiao, 
Single Strike Energy, Reverse, and Electivire. You're looking for Transformers Animated Blackout toy from Hasbro. Your Animated Blackout is awesome. Thank. It's not mine anymore. I sold mine off a long time ago. Um, you're not going to find one from Hasbro because that's a Takara-only release. And they are expensive because that was a that was a very highly demanded toy. I got it's hot in here today, but I don't want to turn off my fan. But it's starting to blow the cards around. Oh, hang on, hang on. Almost screwed that up. Last pack out of the box first. Looks like something out of Dark Alice in Wonderland, kinda. If you ever saw Return to Oz, it's like something out of that. Why is he hard to find? I, I just told you. Because it was only released by Takara and it's a high demand figure. Even when it was brand new, it was hard to find. So it is expensive to get these days if you do find it. All right. NDD. Phoebe. Carnivine, Cubone, Paw in the Yard, Houndour, still haven't seen the Houndoom, Shinx, Galigar, Reverse Hollow Grumpig again, <laughs> Tapu Coco Ultra Rare. This is an interesting day. This is an interesting day of pulls where everything just kind of synergizes. All right. Uh, let me see. I need to get, I need to get another, uh, need to get another top loader. I need to get another, not a top loader, not for this one, but a sleeve, just to keep it okay. A tapu coco goes with my other tapu coco. All right. It's that time, ladies and gentlemen. We're down to our final four. All right. So. We have an Empoleon, we have a Tyranitar, we have a uh, Urshifu, well, it says we have two Urshifu, but we have Rapid Strike and Single Strike. So, Empoleon, Tyranitar, Rapid, Single. Which one is next? Mm. Yeah, the animated toys are awesome. It was an extremely solid toy line. Empoleon first, Empoleon. Two, two, three, four. Oh, okay, 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 okay. You've made it clear. You've made it clear. Okay. Empoleon just like ravaged that that pole. We're doing Empoleon. I like considering they're making a big deal out of Empoleon for this series, I'm surprised I have not seen anything from his evolution line. He might just have a V card and a V Max. Like I kinda want Empoleon. He's cool too. We need season four of Transformers Animated. That's a whole legal mess, dude. I wish that was possible. Trust me. like believe me. Tower of Waters. Karina's focus? Poor Ugly, Hone Edge, a lot of normal types in this pack, Electabuzz, Baltoy, Gligar again, Sandalit, another Reverse Hollow Embor. I feel like I've gotten a ton of these Embors today. And then another Victory Bell. Hmm. <laughs> Best Water Starter? Eh. I mean, I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to fight you. I do like, I do like me a Piplup. All right. Next, everyone pick the next one. Tyranitar, Rapid Strike, or Single Strike. More an Infernape person yourself? I mean, I'm always, like, Turtwig's always going to be, like, my, my favorite of all starters. All right, so we have one Tyranitar, one for Rapid Strike, two for Rapid Strike. One for single strike. This one's a little bit more. This one's a little bit more divided. Everyone wanted Empoleon next, and now we, we're not sure which one. Rapid strike. Number two, middle. All right. Okay. 
That's enough. We're doing rapid. We're doing the rapid strike next. All right, crack the pack, open it up, throw that over there. Okay, so in the Rapid Strike pack, we got a brush six right off the bat. All of them, open all of them right away. One at a time, we know how this works by now. Bouffalant, the urn of vitality, ball toy, Galarian, Mr. Mime, Fomantis, still cute, Spiro, Cubone, Reverse Hollow Salazzle. <laughs> oh, come on. Another Tyranitar V Ultra Rare. Really? You're just going to throw all the Tyranitars except the good one at me? Is that what we're going to do here, Battle Styles? Is that how you're going to treat me? That's how, that's how Battle Styles is going to treat me. It's just gonna be one. Of, it's gonna be one of those sets that just trolls me and just like pokes at me. Like I know what you want. I know what you want, but you're not getting it, huh? Look! Look how close it is. Look how close it is. Four arms with three fingers on each hand, or have monkey feet. You know how much I could get done if my feet were like a monkey's, and I wouldn't be treated like so much of a freak. All right. Tyranitar, Urshifu, which one is next? Arceus is laughing at us, someone's laughing, someone at Nintendo, Tyrant, Tyrant, the middle one, good, yeah, that's gonna work, Scormac, Tyranitar, Urshifu, Urshifu, about even right now, TJ returned to monkey. I mean, I'm already pretty dexterous with my feet, so if I was just had like a monkey like monkey feet, it'd just be like really like like su like super on point and I I would get so much more done. And I'd never have to bend over again. I could just pick up stuff off the ground anytime I wanted. All right. Here's our last Urshifu pack. I need a receptacle for all my code cards. I just need like a little box I can just drop them in and recover them after the stream. Okay. Brushix again. Bufalant. The Urn of Vitality. Cheruby. I like how Cheruby's other head is just kind of chilling and vibing. Pachirisu. Chimcho. Hone Edge. Horsey. Lorantis in Reverse Hollow. And Salazzle again. If you could choose a Plastic Attic Victim to be an updated toy, which would it be? I mean, as much as I harp on them, I really do wish Hotshot would get a half-decent toy. Not like the Universe 2, where it still had a bunch of kibble problems, but... And weird engineering. Like, that toy doesn't need to be weirdly engineered. You just need to make it more solid and more articulate take the gimmick out and just let it be a good hotshot toy because he is a main character in a transformer series he is a central character you might as well make him good make him a good one yeah we need a decent arachnid too she was such a cool character that got absolutely nothing all right last pack of the evening people You thought I loved gimmicks? Have you seen Plastic Addict? Really? Gimmicks have their place, but when they are imposing on a on a uh, an action figure too much, their place has been overstepped. All right, for our final pack of battle styles for the day, we have a girder, we have a Cedra, the Fan of Waves again, Esper. Timber, I feel like I've gotten those back to back so many times. Like the sort just makes those always gonna be always together. 
Galarian Slowpoke, Corfish, Slandit, Reverse Hollow Electivire, and to finish off, we have another Hollow Colossal. So we end on a Hollow at least. We don't, we, you know, the Tyranitar is going to be the chase for a while. And it's not a rainbow. It's not chasing the rainbow. It's just, you know, a super cool card. All right. So for our first taste of battle styles, I do like the artwork. I do like some of the Pokemon effects that we saw. And uh, I do like how thematic the whole set is. It does seem like it's a very fun uh, series of cards. The thing that a lot we're saying about this series is that it's going to be more player centric. The cards are going to be more like a, a more like more uh, competitive than previous sets but there's still some coolness here let's see okay so let's see what we got for the day so we had we had this weird phenomenon well, well let, let me say that to the end let me say that to the end um let's see so before we began before we got into uh battle styles we did have one stojourner full hollow show up which was a really random, really random one to have a full hollow of. Let's see. Uh, we did get the ultra rare for Ur Urshifu, as well as a full art Krikatoon. That was a weird surprise. Uh, on the ultra rare front, we also got our Corviknight, which was super cool. I love the artwork on that card. And then was the weird. Everything else was the weird. Well, actually, no. There's a Stoutland. Hang on. We have a Stoutland full art. So we did got we did pretty good on full arts today. I have four on the day, which is pretty good. So if we look at the weirdness, we have two we have uh, Victini V and Victini V Max, which go together. So those are good to pull. <laughs> Strange they come in the same box, but I will take that. Uh, and then we have. Tapu Coco V Max and Rainbow Tapu Coco V Max. We successfully chased the rainbow today. Yes, yes, Nick, your boy. Hopefully, we'll get the rainbow of him. If I get more battle styles, hopefully, the rainbow will be uh, one of the pulls because I do want that rainbow Victini. But yeah, both of the Tapu Coco cards. And then, because it was trolling me. The good, the big card we want is the alt art Tyranitar. So I got three Tyranitars today, two ultra rare, and then the full art ultra rare, which I feel like is going to be the best card that I'm going to pull for this series for a while. It'll be like a month before we know how much it's worth, but Tyranitar is the big Pokemon in this set and full arts of the big ones are always going to do good. So yeah, that's a pretty that's a pretty solid that's a pretty solid day of opening. I wouldn't call any of that a dud. Uh, I don't know the next time I'm going to be able to do this. I'm I'm out of cards right now, and I have pre-orders coming up this month that I have to prioritize. So it's not like I can spend a whole lot of money on cards, but I'm gonna have the I'm gonna have the chance to actually buy more of this as time goes on, and hopefully it will be uh hopefully it will be a stay for a mainstay for a while. Uh, yep, digital, sorry. You got back right at the end. Uh, but thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for joining me on another Pokemon hunt. It's been a weird time, so I want to thank everyone again for your patience, your support, for coming to hang out with me while I do weird things to take my mind off of life in general. Um, it's still crazy here, but everyone's doing okay. And, you know, thanks to you and... You know, thanks to everyone's support. I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm, I'm doing okay. And hopefully, like, I, I want to get back to like the real business of the channel here in another week or two. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see how everything works out. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in and for all of your support and love. Love you guys. And I will see you whenever I am ready to do this again. Good night.